Hey, what is up everyone? It's the Gamers Weekly here. I'm your host, Antog64, and today we are going to be playing some more Tom Clancy's The Division. I'm your host, and we are actually going to be doing Civilian Overwatch Agency Episode 2, which I'm very excited about. This is our first time we've ever done Episode 2 on this channel. I can't believe it's like already been this long. Seems like just yesterday we did Episode 1, and we've already gotten done with like two games, including this one, and now we're back on to... Tom Clancy's The Division, doing Civilian Overwatch Agency, Episode 2. Now, it is Friday, and I just kind of want to go ahead and let you guys know what's going to be going on. So, uh, if you guys want to stay up to date on day-to-day -day content, make sure you guys go follow our Twitter and Instagram um, accounts. We have them both up. Uh, Ghost is going to be kind of taking over the Twitter, and I'll be taking over the Instagram. So, just make sure you guys look out for that. Um because that's where we will pretty much be posting our day-to-day -day content, letting you guys know what's going to be going on in throughout the week, letting you guys know what series we're going to be doing, letting you guys know what games we're going to be doing, kind of gaming news that's going to be going on in there, and um, so just kind of stuff like that. Um, and I want to go ahead and let you guys know Ghost is not going to be here with us. He's actually still on break. I'm not going to be here either, so we will not be streaming on Saturday. Um, so I, that like that, I would probably end up posting on Instagram after this video. I kind of was posting it late. I haven't really been on Instagram that much this week. I've just been trying to record the videos and stuff. So, yeah, that's why you guys probably didn't see that. But I did went ahead and post this week's game on Instagram. So make sure you guys check that out. So, um, recently, yesterday, I saw that we ended up, you guys probably ended up seeing that we had changed Dark Zone Adventures to Campaign Masters. Um, and I wanted to do this because, A, I really love the campaign, and B, I wanted to let all those newer players know what's going to be kind of going on, kind of what this game is all about, um, what kind of loot you can find, all that good stuff, because I, I don't see many guides on kind of newer players, focused on newer players, so I really wanted to make this guide. Um, it's, I don't think it's going to be going on for too long, to be honest with you. The campaign is kind of relatively short. Uh, it's kind of weird because it has cutscenes, but it doesn't. They're all in the virus reports and all the other stuff that you guys can go find, like the collectibles you do throughout the missions. It's kind of a weird way to put it in a game, but it's it kind of works out because uh, you have the ending with the whole thing with the echoes. I don't want to spoil it for anyone um, that hasn't played it yet or is planning on playing it, so I'm just kind of kind of leave it right there. But it, it is pretty cool how they incorporated the echoes into the storyline. You could kind of make up your own story on how it all went down, which I think was absolutely brilliant from the developer's part. Um, and then kind of adding in the cutscenes to just kind of give you guys a backstory and everything. But yeah, we will be doing d uh, Dark Zone Adventures. Do not worry about that. It will be episode one of Dark Zone Adventures. Um, we tried recording that. It didn't end up working out. We had another person join us. Um, he's one of my friends, and he it, w it just didn't end up working out. We kept dying. The the audio would keep kept sorry kept corrupting and everything. Like my voice would keep coming in and out. It was really weird. So that's why we didn't end up posting it. We did have it pre-recorded um, from our first week that we were gonna do it, but we just couldn't get to it. That like I said, the audio kept corrupting um, the video wasn't very good anyways so that's why we didn't end up doing it and that's why I ended up not doing it here because I do want to do it with Ghost um, and that's why I ended up just going with Campaign Masters it's kind of something that you can do me and Ghost can kind of do it at the same time um, and I just yeah I really would like to start a new character I like kind of starting fresh um, and just kind of going from there so yeah that's kind of what's been going on with the division in this week with the Gamers Weekly. I do want to go ahead and kind of move over some discussion topics, discussion questions. One of them is just kind of like, what do, you, what do I think the general state of the game is? Um, we kind of went over this in the first episode of Civilian Overwatch Agency, but I just kind of want to reiterate some of the stuff that me and Ghost had kind of talked about. Uh, first things first, what I would like to see added in the game is transportation. Um, you guys heard me talk about this and you also heard Ghost talk about this, but you see like all the cars I'm just running by. Uh, some of them I think are actually running, so it's weird that they don't have this already incorporated into the game. Um, at least not, maybe not cars, but at least bicycles. I mean, look at all those bicycles right there. Bicycles don't require a key or an engine or anything. Um, and I would really like to see that add into the game. They have skateboards, they have scooters. I don't even know what they have just like lying around in this game. It's absolutely insane. So I'd really like to see something like they could add it in. Maybe in like an update they would add in like a um what are they called? An engine not an engineer, a mechanic, maybe into the tech wing or security ring wing. And um 
you you could just like you could accept a quest from him or something like that and it would allow you to go and farm these parts so like maybe you need a key well maybe there's a there's a boss like right down the street block two down that you could just go kill he would drop the part um and then you could just go craft those parts at the crafting table and you'd have yourself a key you could go kind of go to a car or um like a motorcycle i think or something you could just plug it in there turn the car on you could start driving around i think that would be really cool if they would add in something like that i don't know exactly how they would do that if they do add end up like adding in cars i could see like bicycles you can just kind of ride them around everywhere but if you have cars it does make it a little bit more difficult for you to kind of drive around and maneuver around all the little places that they have like you see all those cars there's like a truck just sitting right there so it would make it kind of hard to get to places um you could only maybe like drive on the road or maybe they would have like designated roads that you you could just kind of drive on that would be completely clear of cars something like the jtf you could do so like you could add in more encounters um like help the jtf secure a roadway or something um and you could just kind of drive over there there'd be like rikers or lmb just kind of shooting everything up you just come in there kind of rescue kind of like the mercy drop or um you could do something else i don't i forgot what the other one was called something with supplies where you have to carry the fuses or not the fuses but like the supplies and then you have to put them in the little baggage train that they have just like sitting there um so i think that that would be pretty cool for them to add that into there definitely transportation is one of the biggest things because running through and through play i mean fast travel is great and all but it doesn't get you to the exact spot so they need to either allow you to fast travel to the exact spot you want to which would be kind of weird or add in some sort of transportation whether it be like bicycles or something um i think that would be super cool i'm surprised that they didn't add that in there already but i mean i i think the game already is fine transportation just takes way too long like i could spend 30 minutes running from one side of the map to the other side of the map trying to get to an encounter i just end up fast traveling even though i don't really want to fast travel because there's normally like stuff in the way that i maybe like there's a new pair of loot things that i want to go farm or maybe i need some um supplies or something you see me just mark in the next encounter we do two mercenary drops mercy drops sorry and we do two um what are they called assault the stronghold but yeah those are the, those are the four encounters that i ended up doing today um so yeah that's what i just transportation a big thing another thing i'd like to see added into the game is something that they have to do with clans um and clans kind of what i would like to see with clans is maybe adding in like another wing of or maybe adding in something in security wing um you could probably end up doing it in medical wing i could see something like that moving on into medical wing like with clans what i would like to kind of see is like you if you take over like a certain position in a map like you could take over a certain part of new york and you could just kind of control that part and you could put up your flags you could set up a base in there um, kind of like a clan base and you could have other clans come and try to attack that base and what you would get from you know defending it or stuff is extra loot um, you could have more bosses spawn there you could do things like so like people who are farming items in there in that territory they would give you like a certain portion of it for going in there but they would have a better chance at getting those rare supplies getting the rare loot stuff like that um i really think that that would be pretty cool if they would add that in the game i don't think that it would be like the number one thing that they have to add that in now they could they they probably won't ever end up adding anything like that um, it doesn't really need to be in the game. It's something that would be pretty cool, kind of help with getting all the loot and everything, and newer players kind of joining in. But it doesn't, like, at the same time, a lot of people are already playing this game, and a lot of people kind of already have a feel for the game. Um, but for those, like, there's not too many newer players out there. I mean, they're still kind of gradually coming on. Um, that's why I made Campaign Masters, but they're not so many of them like there were in day one even day one people were like going to level 30 and everything it was crazy um but that's what i think would be really cool to add in that and transportation would be super awesome if they could add that in there um i really do like the game so far i think it's really nice it runs really smoothly it plays really well there are a few things here and there like there are a few weapons that i think could be nerfed a bit just a tad bit not like super much not 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 a lot but a little bit um 
Also, I do think that they could maybe add in a better loot system. I, I do like the loot system, but I kind of feel like it doesn't give you, it doesn't really reward you that much. Like, you have to get, you can't really get yellows anymore. If you have yellows, they're not going to be as good. Uh, they don't have a high as gear score as, say, uh, like a striker's piece of gear or hunter's faith piece of gear that has, like, a score of 214. Um, you don't really see too many 214 exotics or yellows dropped anymore. Um, and same thing kind of in the dark zone. They don't really drop. Um, that and that the dark zone is, like, extremely hard to do. Like, if you don't have a team, it is very hard to solo. Even a dark zone one. I mean, I guess, seeing since my gear score is relatively low and I don't have, like, the best ultimate gear, um... It, it does make it a little bit more of a challenge for me, but for like even like even other players, I could see kind of having a bit of a challenge trying to even go up to Dark Zone three. It used to be so easy; I could solo up like Dark Zone four, but now it's just a little bit more difficult that they increase the gear scores like two oh one now or two hundred gear score that they minimum. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. We are a new channel, um, and every subscriber helps. So leave a comment if you guys want to see something new in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.